Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a four box break of 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball. Uh, random letter break number nine. The final four boxes of this case right here. The final four boxes of the case. Do I have all the names of the people? I need all the names here. And um, I'm going to post the uh, next video in a moment. All right, so big thanks to this group for getting in on the action. There are the letters right there. There's also a little special we were doing tonight only. The final five spots, we're going to randomize. And the name on top is going to win an extra spot after five. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four. And once more, fifth and final time. After five, Gabe with the extra spot. Congrats. And now we can randomize names and letters. So let's roll it and randomize different dice roll. One and a five, six times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Matthew down to Matthew after six. One and a five, six times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got C up there, F down here. The old CV, the curriculum V the time. I don't think that phrase is as common here. Maybe in the academic world, maybe in England. Matthew with C, Nicholas with T, Tristan with P, Gabe with B, Nathan with W and Z, Chad with J, Gabe with no, Chad, last spot, Mojo, A, Nathan with S, Chad with V, Nathan with R, Matthew with D, Simon L, H, Nicholas E, G, Simon M, Nathan K, and Matthew F. Let's uh, alphabetize by letter. And we're going to pause the video just for a moment. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break itself. Stick around. B R B. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done. So that list right there remains the same. Victor does have a base card, Chad, but it's short printed. So if we pull one, I think they're going for hundreds of dollars. However, I, I'm going to burst your bubble here just out of, in the interest of being nice. So you, you don't raise your expectations too high during this break. I think the first third of this case, Chris Jaspi did pull a Victor Wembanyama base card and an autograph redemption. Now, not to say there can't be a second one, but just uh, just fair warning. I think one of them sold for you're selling for five hundred bucks. Yeah, four five hundred bucks. I think one of them the other day sold for a lot higher than that, but I think they'll probably normalize down to about four or five hundred bucks. That sounds about right. Do I believe there could be woolly mammoths deep in Siberia? Mm. That's a good question. I say no, not. Not in the way that we would think of a woolly mammoth. Possibly a cousin of the woolly mammoth. But, I don't know. Those are also migratory creatures, right? They would migrate a lot. I'd, I'd be hard for them to not have been spotted at this point. I, unless there's maybe like Just a small herd of woolly mammae. 
Well, uh, you know what, Chad? Uh, my my duty as a as a friend, I just I was just want I wanted to let you know. I didn't want you, you know, having your hopes up for four boxes and being like, "Dang, there was no victors. We tried," and then someone's gonna be like, "Bro, they pulled one earlier today already," and then you'd be like, "Why didn't you tell me earlier? I had my hopes up." Entire four boxes. Now we've just tempered expectations. Under promise, over deliver. Yeah, what what was the reason why they're trying to bring the woolly mammoth back? Is that a good idea? I'm watching Jurassic Park right now. That that's that's you know, that's a very clear one of the clear uh, cautionary tales not to do that sort of stuff. You know, would it be like introducing an Australian insect into an, an American ecosystem? Like what, what damage that could do? We got something here. Not sure what this is, but it's flipped around. Are the autos flipped around or are they not flipped around? I don't know. We got Mackay, Ashton, and Langford going to Simon and the letter M. Three eleven out of four ninety nine. How are how is bringing back the woolly mammoth help with climate change and fix the carbon footprint? All right, behind Nick Smith Jr. is Mark Mitchell to 150. That's well, just a numbered card. That goes to uh, Simon in the letter M. Um, the Invicta Nick Smith Jr. There's our first Caitlin Clark. First of many, I hope, for Matthew and the letter C. She's pretty good. Pretty good ball player. And we've got a Duran Holmes to 299, Aqua. Shimmer. Wave. Shimmer. These purple uh, shimmers are not numbered by. I think that's shimmer and this is wave, right? I don't know if I have the hard drive space to remember all of that. All right. Proponents of reanimation re say it is ultimately a conservation tool. Their goal is to adapt existing ecosystems to radical modern environment spaces. Global. Wait, that that tell told me nothing. The goal is to adapt existing ecosystems to radical modern environmental changes, such as global warming, possibly reverse those. But how is the woolly mammoth specifically going to make a radical change to the ecosystem? Tell George Church, professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School and Scientific American, tell that dude to stop giving us the science speak and give us some real talk. You know? We're not all eggheads like him, Rex. <laughs> When's the last time someone's used the word egghead? What does that even mean? Why, why was... 
Why were science nerds eggheads? I mean, that doesn't that doesn't say anything. I don't know, keep, keep reading that article. What movie is this? Some girl named Venus on a laptop. Oh, reopening an admissions email. Cal Arts. Well, someone should shed some light on this woolly mammoth situation. Here's a Mattis Bozellus Ray Wave autograph, another M for Simon. 34 out of 199. And another Caitlin Clark. We got Posh Alexander, 164 out of 199. You think there's a uh, baby Alexander and a ginger Alexander and a sporty Alexander? Posh goes to uh, Tristan. That's a Spice Girls show, ladies and gentlemen. We're not gonna hear too many of those. That's the kind of stuff you get here at Jaspi's case breaks. All right, all right, all right. Rex with some good information here. For example, reintroducing woolly mammoths to the Arctic. Arctic could keep the region cooler by eating dead grass, thus enabling the sun to reach spring grass, whose deep roots prevent erosion, increasing reflected light by felling trees, which absorb sunlight, punching through the insulated snow that freezing air penetrates the soil. Huh. Wow. There's Chris Livingston. Who's funding this again? I mean, all right, rewilding extinct species or returning them to their original habitats will support local economies? Ecologies and help them reverse the effects of climate change. Hmm. There's Jared Bynum. Ninety-nine out of ninety-nine. Letter J. Chad Da with J. What if those species went extinct for a reason? <laughs> I suppose the woolly mammoth is not really an invasive species, is it? It's not like the South Asian carp. Is that is that is that a thing? Or a murder hornet? Is it the South Asian carp? It's some some kind of carp is like devastating like rivers and lakes of their natural fish species. Maybe we should reanimate the the ancient uh, the ancient predator of the carp and reintroduce that into our water system.
I mean, I see where this guy is, this woolly mammoth dude is going. I get it. But I feel like, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't have the data. Who am I? But <laughs> it's like, uh, it's, it's a long leap from trying to, uh, you know, what amounts to lawn mowing in the Arctic. Seems like a lot of work to get to that point. And then what, they're gonna keep the woolly mammoth just in that area? They're not gonna let it roam free? Lest it develop a taste for redwood trees and then destroys our redwood tree population, thus not being able to oxygenate the planet? Yeah, I feel like he's using climate change as an excuse. I feel like, yeah! <laughs> he just wants to make a woolly mammoth. But I feel like saying, oh, yeah, 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 but, 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 but think about this, climate change. We should, if, if he's reanimating re anything, he should reanimate, um, he should reanimate uh, Nikolai Tesla and maybe get some, uh, maybe figure out a way to get some more clean energy going here. Maybe he, he'll have some new ideas. There's Arterio Morris, or maybe help us figure out cold fusion. It's to 499, that's gonna go to Chad in the letter A, last spot mojo. Right, Rex, and then that 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 brings it. That brings me to the Jurassic Park argument, where they took Dino DNA, and they uh, replaced the uh, the missing DNA bits with that of other reptiles, frogs, etc. And we saw what happened in Jurassic Park. There's Oscar uh, Shiwebi. Shibi. She a, she a B-way? Sorry, Oscar. I don't know why he slipped around, but maybe he's important. Sky scraping. That's kind of a cool insert set too. Bum bum sky scraping. And there's a Jerace Walker. That's kind of that's a cool shot. Of uh, Mr. Walker here. It's gonna go to J. That's be for Chad. In the letter J. We're hoping these guys get drafted. We're hoping they become superstars. So on and so forth. Another Caitlin Clark for Matthew and the letter C. And beyond Lauren Betts is Jalen Wilson to 25 from Kansas. Orin Shimmer for Chad in the letter J. Is he good? I don't know. I'm going to watch more college basketball.
ham on the back. Last box. Yeah, what if those woolly mammoth mammoths go uh, go uh, run amok, Rex? What next? Should we reanimate the saber tooth tiger, the natural enemy of the woolly mammoth? I don't know if they're the natural enemy of the woolly mammoth. Let's say they were, and we'd have to reanimate the uh, the saber tooth tiger, Rex. And I'm not even, I'm not entirely sure that the saber tooth tiger, is the saber tooth tiger an apex predator? Would there be something bigger than the saber tooth tiger that eats saber tooth tigers? Awesome. All right, see you guys. Yeah, big, big. I don't think they're that big. There must be something bigger than a saber tooth tiger. That's what, that's what we're thinking. Then you have to reanimate another creature bigger than the saber tooth tiger. The giant saber tooth type, or maybe maybe man, maybe humankind is the apex predator in that situation. I mean, we'd have to take out. Be like Texas. It'd be like Texas, where they have a. Uh, I think they have. Is it someone in Texas confirm? I no longer have family in Texas, so I cannot confirm. But um, I think there's a wild boar uh, in, the, in the wilds of Texas. I think there's a boar issue, right? And so they literally have to take, you can take helicopter rides and you can like, take a ride and, and shoot wild pigs, I think, which actually kind of sounds cool. Yeah, let's go, let's, let's see if we can get Letter V to hit. You think it'd be hilarious if you bring out the dodo bird, it becomes aggressive and evil. Yeah, like it's cunning, like it's really smart. Turns out the dodo bird was actually really smart and they reanimated the dodo bird. Oh, okay. Jalen Wilson, Consensus All-American. Well, if Rogan's talking about it, it must be true, Rex. How about another J, Julian Phillips, purple. That's to three ninety nine. No, but yeah, I think you do have to... I think, I think there's like you can charter a helicopter and they'll put like a fifty caliber at the... Like, I don't know if they take a fifty caliber, but you can shoot something. Can you eat? wild boar? Apologies if that's an obvious question. Maybe there's like, maybe the state of Texas is watching this and smacking their palm to their forehead. But can you eat those boar? Those, can, can you eat them? It's Mark Armstrong for letter M for Simon. Yeah, the aggressive, smart as a crow dodo bird, and and as strong, like a crow, like in those uh, fight milk commercials. You've seen those fight milk commercials. And there's Jet Howard. Jet, woo, 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 woo. Jet. Good wing song there. 61 out of 199. Jet going to chat. They used to call uh, Chad Jet in high school, right, Chad? Chad Jet Daw on account of his speed. Supposedly it's really good if you cook it right. Kevin says yes, you can, but it has a gamey. T so is it like a. Uh, a gamey bacon or a gamey pork chop? I do like bacon and pork chop. We got PJ Hall. Pink mini diamonds. 
the uh, power forward from Clemson, 51 out of 150. Chad was fast, but no, not the nickname. All right. It was Chad Reasonably Fast Sedan Daw was his nickname. And there you go, gang. That was your break. Not too bad, I think. I feel like there's some names here. And, and even better yet, we're able to unlock another four box break, which is gonna be coming from a fresh case. So it's a fresh search for all the big names from this Bowman University set. Hey, everyone on this list right here, thank you for the late night, Phil. I appreciate you. Thanks for getting this done. We had a lot of fun, I hope. And um, I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.